Catch me Catch if you, me if you can. can. <laughs>
gotta be a way out of here. Some way the hell out of here.
the Lord. shouldn't have come here, Michael Lawar. My coming here was unavoidable. It is prophecy. 
My destiny. Your destiny is to die. That is the fate of all mortal men. But I am no longer mortal. I cannot die. Ha! Dying is easy. I have achieved that end more than once in my existence. And now I have returned as a bloody messiah, an avatar resurrected, a divine servant for my master's great plan. If dying is easy, then you won't mind if I blow you away, you pathetic little man. You may try to achieve that end, Michael Loire, but I warn you, you shall not find it a simple task at all, for we are many.
welcome. Enter freely and of your own will. Don't mess with me, little man. Little big man. Little big man. <laughs> Didn't your mama never tell you? It don't matter how big. My mama loves me. She never loved you. My mama kisses me. My mama would never, never, ever kiss you. No, not never, ever kiss you. <laughs> Come to mama now, baby. Sweet baby, come to mama. For we are many. <laughs> it's not working. Jesus.
around here. some way the hell out of here.
What's happening, my man? Where the hell? Hey, Yank. Hey, soul brother. It's good to see you. Come a long way for the party, but hell, it's gonna be worth it. I'll see to that. I haven't come for a party, mister. Can't back out now. Clock's ticking and your number's coming up. And it's walk by verse 9 and Echo Box Crotch, shall we dance? You crazy son of a bitch. You got your damn party, all right. Woo! It's an end of the world sock hop, the apocalypse prom, and Marco's yard. You're on the guest list, Mikey, and little Lukey's coming too. He's got the best seat in the house with a split lip neat that big old engine. And he's screaming for his mommy, but mommy's gone down dead sideway. She can't help him and neither can you. Damn you! Yeah! All right! That's the spirit, Mikey! Let's rock and roll!
you. This is private property. What the hell you think you're doing, boy? I ain't your boy. <laughs> Don't you get uppity with me. You trespassing on my property, I can call you anything I choose, boy. I didn't see no signs, fatso. That's cause you didn't arrive by the front door, did you? I don't need an invitation, fat man. I've been sent here by a higher power. I'm the only power around these parts, boy. You gonna find that out soon enough. You gonna find out what survival is all about. Just like a rerun of the NAM. It's Judgment Day for you and all your kind. This is the end, beautiful friend, for we are many. Jesus, I don't need this bullshit. There must be something down here.
Is there something I can do for you? Yeah, there's something you can do for me. And what is that, pray tell? You can get the hell out of my way. Ah, I'm afraid that won't be possible. Hey, anything's possible, Doc. You, above all, people should know that. I'm sorry, did I call you people? My mistake. You aren't a person at all, are you? Are you? Don't tell me you're expecting some kind of answer to your rhetorical question. Oh yeah, I know all about you, Doc. You think you're so smart. Look at you, so smug in your self-belief. The hero at the heart of your own pathetic power fantasy. But really, you're a little baby girl, aren't you? Deep inside, shivering inside, pissing your frilly little panties. Oh, come now. A squealing, puking, hairless puppy inside. Now you're mixing metaphors. So move out of my way, puppy dog. I won't ask you again. I will not move out of your way. I will not. Do you know who I am? Do you? <laughs> you're a little puppy dog. Don't call me that. I am Dr. Death! I am the Lizard King! Can't you see what I've accomplished here? I have brought his kingdom to Earth! I am the leader of the Five! You should fear me! Fear me! I pity you! That wasn't very nice. For I shall sit at the right hand of the Lord. Did you know that? For we are many. Were you aware of that? You act. You piece of excrement. You nothing. Now, Apocalypse. 
the end of all things. Your voodoo harlot was correct, Michael dear. The end is nigh. And it's sooner than you think. coming to get you. Jesus, Luke, no!
Luke, there you are. What you doing running away like that? Luke, speak to me, kid. Hiya, Mikey. Glad you could make it. I've been waiting for you. I've been scared. Scared they were going to catch me. That you weren't going to come get me. Here, Luke. You should have known I'd always be there for you, bro. There were bad things in the dark. Badder than the boogeyman. They did stuff to me. Stuff I don't want to think about. Oh, God. I'm sorry, Luke. Hey, you want to hear a joke, Mikey? Sure. Once upon a time, there was a murderer and his victim walking hand in hand towards some deep, dark woods. The victim squeezes the murderer's hand real tight. He says, looking up pleadingly with big brown eyes, I'm real scared, mister, of the deep, dark woods. Luke, what the hell? He sighs and he says, you're scared. How the hell do you think I feel? I'm gonna be walking back through them on my own! Pretty funny, hey, Mikey. Pretty goddamn amusing, don't you think? You ain't Luke. You ain't my brother. Congratulations. You win the booby prize. It was never your brother. Just a little insurance to get you here. Really, Michael, you must learn to let the dead rest in peace. Who are you? And he asked him, what is thy name? And he replied, My name is Legion, for we are many. And you, Shadow Man, are Legion also. The souls of the many fill your vitals to bursting. To hell with this obscure shit. I don't need it. All I need to know is that I'm gonna take you down. You really don't get it, do you? You're even more of a posturing fool than I first believed. When I came up with my grand and incredibly brilliant plan, which you will know as the prophecy, all those years ago... What? You created the prophecy? Of course I did, you pillock. Surely you didn't believe all that bollocks about the old gods imparting the knowledge to the ancients. The only god back then was me. It was I who spoke to the ancients in their dreams and planted the seed for my triumphant return. Of course, all those years ago I couldn't have hoped for a more willing puppet. Luckily the puppet is you, Michael Lavoie. And of course, now that you have so kindly presented poor Luki with his teddy bear, it is impossible for you to leave. You bastard! Thank you. I suppose you've read the Le Count, for it is written, and Legion took the power of the Dark Souls unto him. I knew that the Dark Souls would be difficult to get, and I needed someone to bring them to me. And here you are, replete with their immortal power, a power I require to energize my Dark Engine and project my armies across the Vale to Liveside as it was in the beginning, is now, and forever shall be. It isn't over yet. Oh, I think it is, Michael. Well and truly over. We spoke the word to Pike, Batrachian, Cruz, and the others, so that they might open the way. We whispered sweet nothings into Nettie's ear as she lay sleeping, and she sent you to us like the proverbial lamb to the slaughter man. The power is within you, Shadow Man. The power to unleash the apocalypse upon your pissant little world. The throne awaits you, Michael Lois. You are the fuel for a great engine, as it was in the beginning, is now, and forever shall be. Amen to that! Get up! Get up, you bastard! Alas, it would appear that I am done for. 
You didn't reckon on the fact that the dark souls I now possess would give me even greater power. Power enough to take you down. You might think that. But unfortunately, and once again, you are woefully mistaken. What the f Jesus! Now you will die! This was the one flaw in your plan, Legion. The Dark Souls have given me the power to defeat you. I've read my prophecy. And Legion shall take the Dark Souls unto him. Well, here they are. I think it's time to make a fast exit. I am the Lord of Dead Side. Walker between the worlds. Immortal Voodoo Warrior. As a god, I stamp upon the writhing face of the Dead Side Serpent. Weapon in my hand. My hand. The arcing death blow. The horror. The horror. I embrace it.